So when you watch the financial networks or you read the um, financial papers, like Wall Street Journal, for example, Chomsky makes this point all the time, or you watch CNBC or um, Fox Business or Bloomberg, oftentimes you get powerful people being too honest. And what they do is they tell you what they're really thinking and what all this stuff is really about. And if you pay attention, you'll see a lot of these little nuggets, these little gems uh, on issues of Wall Street and regulation and taxes and on issues of uh, foreign policy. So here we have a perfect example of that John Bolton gets a little bit too comfortable on Fox Business. And look at what he ends up saying about Venezuela. We want everybody to know we're, we're looking at all this very seriously. We don't want any American businesses or investors caught by surprise. They can see what President Trump did yesterday. We're following through on it. Uh, so if you think of a company like Sitco, which is owned by Pedavesa, which is the state-run oil company there in Venezuela, we have a lot of those Cisco, Sitco assets right here in the U.S. Is that something, for example, sir, that you're looking at? Yeah, well, we're in conversation with major American companies now that are either in Venezuela or in the case of Citgo here in the United States. Uh, I think we're trying to get to the same end result here. You know, uh, Venezuela is one of the three countries I call the Troika of Tyranny. It'll make a big difference to the United States economically if we could have American oil companies really invest in and, and produce the oil uh, capabilities in uh, Venezuela. It'd be good for the people of Venezuela. It'd be good for the people of the United States, we both have a lot at stake here making this come out the right way. Just admitted it. The coup in Venezuela is about the oil. Listen, I know that you, uh, in this audience, you're not surprised by this. You already knew this was the case. At least the overwhelming majority of you did. Um, but there are some people who don't know and they're naive, you know, and, and they really believe the bullshit line that usually comes from Washington, D.C., now, to not the credit of the Trump administration, but to the something of the Trump administration, they really have dropped a lot of the, you know, the pretext for that we usually throw out there. Like, oh, we care about freedom and democracy, and, and that's why... I always get mixed up. I don't know if the word is pretext or pretense. I think it's pretext. But they threw out the pretext, slash pretense, slash one of those words is wrong, slash you guys probably know which one is and isn't, and I'm an idiot. Um, but they threw that out, and you would normally hear people in D.C. going, Oh, we care so deeply about these innocent civilians being hurt. We have no choice but to help. That's why we need to do an illegal coup. Okay, well, now they're just saying, like, no, this is uh, pre about the oil, pretty much about the oil. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. You're saying the quiet part loud. It's so what happens. They're too comfortable on the financial networks. They know that most of the people watching are fucking Wall Street executives in the top 1%. And, um, you know, Trish Regan is not going to call him out on it, this this host. She does she does rants against fucking social democracy all the time as if she's keeping it real. Um, and notice nobody's like... Nobody's shocked by it. Nobody... It's not like... Like, if I'm the host and they say that, I'm going to have to be like, Whoa! What? But they say, and it's like, yeah, of course, we're allowed to. And, and see, in John Bolton's mind, international law doesn't apply to us. Remember, he's a war criminal. Part of the Bush administration, you know, we're talking about an administration that waged an offensive war in a country that didn't attack us in Iraq, lied about it, there were no weapons of mass destruction, um, ended up taking oil from there as well, by the way, and killed minimum 200,000 civilians, and it was just a mess. And... This is, to him, it's just whatever. We get to do what we want. We're above international law. It doesn't apply to us. And if you disagree with that, you can go fuck yourself. And you know it's, it's ridiculous because we support 73% of the world's dictatorships. But the argument, at least half the time, about Venezuela is, well, obviously it's just because Maduro is a terrible dictator. That's why we have to, that's why we support the opposition taking over. But if why wouldn't you stop actively supporting 73% of the world's dictatorships if you care so much on principle against dictators and for democracy? I mean, listen, we're aiding and abetting a genocide in Yemen right this second. Saudi Arabia is doing that genocide. We keep arming them and funding them and 
holding hands and singing Kumbaya with them. And so do you really care about fighting against dictatorships? Well, stop arming one in Saudi Arabia. Stop aiding them in a genocide. I mean, this stuff is relatively simple, but of course it's got nothing to do with that. And here you have the moment of honesty where he says, well, it's really about the oil. And I told you, I played the video of Trump. He said it in regards to Libya. He said it in regards to Syria. He said it in regards to Iraq. We should take the oil. That's what Trump said. This was before he was president. Hey, what do you mean? We should go in there and take the oil. So now I have no doubt that his close advisor said to him, we could topple Maduro and we could take the oil. Or at the very least, we can get a very cheap deal to get the oil from um, Gallardo, who's the person, the opposition who they want to replace Maduro. And, you know, one of the oldest tricks in the, the imperial book is the United States sanctions the shit out of Venezuela the economy fucking implodes, people are struggling, and then they turn around and act like, ah, all of this is on the, the Venezuelan government. Now, let me be clear. I don't, I'm not defending the Venezuelan government. I don't agree with the Venezuelan government. I have no stake in that, okay? But call it what it is. You can't say these crippling sanctions had no impact. You can't say that, like, it's all on the Venezuelan government. That's just not true. And it's just so disingenuous. And we do this in Iran, too. We sanction Iran, destroy their economy, literally block humanitarian goods from going in there, including medicine. People die, and then we turn around and go, Oh, what a brutal and vicious Iranian uh, regime they are. If, if you cared about Iranian civilians, you wouldn't be sanctioning fucking medicine from going in there. You know? Like, this is basic stuff, but it's all, it's all a game to them. It, we, there's a geopolitical chessboard and we're making power moves and we want to control markets and jack natural resources. That's what it is. And you know because a guy like John Bolton, who's honestly one of the most dangerous men on the fucking planet, you know because he's the one that's controlling a lot of this stuff and he's the one that's steering the agenda. The other day he was given, a, he was given some comments to the media and written down on a notepad it said 5,000 troops to Colombia. So now they're actually talking about like a literal... Boots on the ground invasion of Venezuela. Again, back in the day, all the only line of, of argument you'd ever hear is, we're just doing this for freedom and democracy. And that was bullshit, but that's what they would say. Now you get the mix of half the time, it's because we care about freedom and democracy and Venezuelan civilians, but in moments of honesty, they really tell you what it's about. It's about the fucking oil. So we have a criminal rogue regime in control in this country, and they're violating international law to do an illegal coup, back an illegal coup, and they might even do a ground invasion. So if you support it because Maduro bad, you're a sucker. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Listen, the only time we should use our military is to defend the country. Defend the country. There's no radical Venezuelan terrorism heading our way. There's no you know, Maduro, in, we have to attack Maduro over there before he attacks us over here. That's not a thing. We're, we are acting offensively. And just because you might disagree ideologically with the government that we're doing this to, that's no excuse. And again, you are violating international law if that's the case. Now, use the logic that we use against others. Flip that now, put the shoe on the other foot, and use it against us. We say, oh my God, this government, look at this rogue government. They're, they're violating international law willy-nilly. They're ripe for regime change because obviously we can't trust them to follow the law. Well, if we use that same logic against us, what should happen? Should fucking Russia do a coup of the U.S. and put Pelosi in power or something and say like, ah, what are you going to do? We, uh, you guys were violating international law. You were ripe for regime change. Can, should Iran do some sort of attack against us because, hey, what do you want me to say? You were violating international law all willy-nilly like nothing mattered. No, because we see the absurdity of that logic whenever you use it against us, but when we do it against others, like we're doing right now in Venezuela, a lot of people just shrug, man. Eh, what are you going to do? Eh, Maduro's a bad guy anyway. You're responsible for what you do. You're not responsible for what others do. Here's something we do. Back 73% of the world's dictatorships. If you really cared about fighting against dictatorships, then just stop supporting 73% of the world's dictatorships. Not that hard. That's what you would do. But this isn't about that. And now you know, and John Bolton just fucking said it on TV, so don't be an idiot. Don't pretend like that's not the case. Don't act like this has anything to do with human rights, freedom, justice, democracy. It's got nothing to do with any of that. And you need to know it, because that's what it is.